For our second decimal to doodle, we're going to talk about sorting decimals. Just like we talked about place value with whole numbers and then talked about sorting the whole numbers, now we're sorting decimals. And some of these things will look very familiar, just like those pictures of base 10 blocks made out of wood look so familiar from week one. Sometimes with sorting, the problem is that people wrote things out in words, and that's annoying. So let's translate these. Six tenths would be six, and the biggest place value is just tenths, which is the first decimal place value, so that's easy. Or 423 thousandths, tenths, hundredths, thousands, that checks out. Let's put a decimal point. So which of those is bigger? Hmm, would I rather have six tenths in their entirety, or would I rather have four tenths and some change? The six? The six, right? Think about what we just did with those base 10 blocks. This would be six long blocks. This would be four long blocks, two little cubes, and then three splinters of little cubes. So these aren't going to catch up and make the four into a five or a six. And the green is already like that. So let's think about this more. This should look just like a slide we did before. So somebody delete the top green rectangle for me. So we have some numbers that start with one and some numbers that start with five. So clearly the five has to be the biggest one. Can someone drag that one to the top over where it says biggest? It doesn't even matter what the rest of that number is, 51 point something is gonna be bigger than the rest. Okay, delete our next green rectangle because these ones are tied. Do we have a winner yet that we can move to the second biggest number? The 15? Yeah, 15 and change. I don't care what the change is. 15 bucks is more than 12 bucks or two bucks or one buck. So I'm gonna move the 15 for my turn. Any other numbers we can move? The 12. Yeah, and even the two and the one. We know that whatever change is being covered up underneath, it's not going to make a dollar, or we would have that written as a dollar. Okay, delete more rectangles, see what else there is. No, hmm. are these all the numbers? Let's keep clearing it out and we'll see. Okay, nope, that was all of them. Let's try it again. This time it's not going to work. Let's see what happens that goes wrong. So somebody delete the top rectangle. Actually, wait, before we do that, let's duplicate this slide so we have a good copy of it still. Okay, now delete the top right. Okay. 
So it looks like this two is bigger than this one. So those should be the first two numbers. Okay. But when I move them over, this is $2 and change, and this is $12 and change. Hmm, that's not working. 12 and something is bigger than two and a little bit. Okay, keep deleting rectangles. Let's see how bad this is. Now it looks like this five is bigger than the ones. So I'm gonna take this five and move it over. Uh-oh, this was 50. 51 is bigger than 12 and two. And for these ones, they look tied. So let's keep going, delete the next rectangle. So, hmm, 15 and one, I think the 15 looks bigger. Oh, but 15 is even bigger than 12. This isn't working at all. And this one is like less than those. Am I done? Yes, no more. So what was wrong about that, that I just move all these over and reveal them? How come deleting, whoops, deleting the rectangles didn't help me? If you need a more specific question, how come comparing that two and the one didn't work well? I'm kind of confused with the question. Oh, okay. Well, we did a process that we had all these compared and then we were sliding them over and it worked for whole numbers. That two is bigger than one, so this number is gonna be bigger. But that's not true, because 12 and change is bigger than two and change. But it looks like these two numbers are lined up nice, right? They both are lined up on that side. How much is this one really worth? Thousands? No, it's just 12. It's $12 and five cents. So I don't have a thousand dollars. That would be nice if I did. If I have $12 and five cents, what's the one part worth? back. For my twelve dollars and five cents.
the one is telling me I have $10. Maybe I have a $10 bill and two $1 bills, I'm not sure. So I am comparing a 10 with right now a two, and that's not a good comparison. When I line up my numbers to see which is bigger, I need to be fair and compare the tens of place value with other tens of place values, like that five or that one. So one issue with decimals is just because I put some more decimal digits doesn't mean that I'm lining things up correctly. What I really want to do is take this two and scoot it a little bit so that the ones are fair. Now my ones are comparing with ones. And I also need to adjust that one and that one. So now if I took my sheet and covered it, I would be comparing all the tens digits and I could say, oh, this is the biggest number. And it really is. 51 is bigger than all the others. It's not fair to compare the tens of something with the ones of something else. So let's have you do this. There's just one square, and none of these numbers have a decimal point. So go ahead and click on any number. You might need to double click on it and just put a decimal point in somewhere. So one point two o oh, five o o o o things like that. So put decimal points in all the others. You can do that with your keyboard easily enough. And then we will try sorting them once you have made them decimals. Is the double clicking working for you? Is it letting you edit them? We can take all of these numbers and line up the decimal points so that we're comparing place value correctly. Does it make sense how we're lining things up? That a number with no decimal places still has a ones column. So let's put all the ones column together. And the decimal that has no ones column will still line up its tenths with all of the other tenths columns. So now we can cover these up and say, let's sort them. We'll move over. Oh, that's our biggest number. I don't have to know anything more about it. It's the only one that had a 10,000s column. And this will be a next biggest number. It's the biggest of the ones that started with thousands, 9,000. And this one was 2,000 something. I keep scooting up, oh, there's a nine. So this one had 900. 
The four is bigger than the ones. The ones are tied. I have to move everything over. Let's see if there's a tiebreaker. Yes, 1.4 is more than 1.2. A dollar 40 is more than a dollar 20. A one with four tenths is more than a one with two tenths. And that's all of them. See how it makes sort of a triangle shape that way? Here's a homework thing to think about if you want. If decimals are often easier to use than fractions, why do we use fractions at all? When are fractions better? We'll see a little bit of that later this week, but you can think about it too. <laughs>